Hello everyone. This video is focused on how to attempt engineering graphics paper in final exam. So this paper carries 50 marks, 2 hours time, total 8 questions. Out of which you need to attempt 4 questions. So first question will be line, second on unit number 2 planes, third will be on solid or to this engineering curve and development. Then question number 5 and 6 will be on orthographic projection while question number 7 and 8 on isometric views. So total 8 question we'll see how to attempt paper. So here we go with solutions and marking scheme for engine graphics one. So first question Okay, so marking scheme, question number one is line, two on plane, third solid, fourth development, 4B will be on curve. So first sequence to attempt paper, a very smart way is attempt question number four, A, which is on development of lateral surface. So first I'll attempt question number 4A, that is development of lateral surface for six marks, which will take hardly 10 to 15 minutes. So First, I'll attempt question number 4a. Time will be 15 minutes and you'll get 6 marks. Next, complete complete question number 4 that is 4b engineering curves. Again, 7 marks next 15 minutes. So, in one attempt, that is question number 4a and 4b, you can complete in 30 minutes. Next, go for line, projection of line, which will take max to max 20 minutes. Then after line go for orthographic projections either question number 5 or 6 marks are 4 marks for front view, 4 for top view and 4 for let's say for this question sectional side view. So complete 30 marks so as it is lengthy so you may take 30 minutes or maybe 35 minutes for orthographic projection. Next, isometric view, last question to attempt as per our sequence planning. So I'll go for ISO and I have a time of 30 minutes to complete isometric views problem. So in last 30 minutes I will complete isometric view. So this should be ideal planning to complete a paper. Once again we will revise. First you go for question number 4. that is development of lateral surface and engineering curves then go for line for next 20 minutes and second last question orthographic projection for 30 minutes and the last question isometric views either question number 7 or 8 for last 30 minutes so still I have a time of 10 minutes which I can utilize for revising or rechecking, cross checking either projection of lines or orthographics problem. So keep in mind when you are going for marking scheme like when you are drawing correct front view you will get 5 marks and next 5 marks for correct top view so what tricks and tips you need to remember is always you need to mention only this plan length and elevation length as a dark visible line whereas all true length lines all these projections lines should not be dark or should not be uh, visible you can use H or 2H pencil for this when you are drawing this HT and VT don't confuse with notations always you can give this when extend EL on XY that is H dash and this point as H so this distance is HT and this is VT no need to mention distances as HT and VT draw this HT VT faint so that only EL and PL should be visible ok so we'll discuss now uh, let's say one question on orthographics projections so here is one question, now we will discuss uh, how to draw this problem in 30 minutes. So let's say uh, we will first find out 
the total length, width and the height for this problem. So as it is mentioned it is x for front view. So you can see in front view I can see this two dimension as a length and the total height of the object. So total length is 60 as mentioned here. Whereas this has 60 length. Whereas total height from diagram you can identify this is the center to this center distance is 105. Whereas this outer circle radius is 30. Similarly this radius is 30. So this 30 mm, this 30 mm and this 105. So total 165 mm is the height for this object. Now total width. So very simple from this view as it is a side view position right hand side as x is front view position. So here I can see the total width of object which is as mentioned the outer circle diameter 60. So for given problem length is 60 height is this 10 plus 30 plus this side 30 that is 165 whereas width is 60 mm. So in this question it is mentioned uh, right hand side sectional view. So along the A, A plane when I am going to cut this object I am going to see this object like this and I need to make this area as hatched area. So here you can see I need to make this side view like this. You can refer this solution. So while making this sectional view with hatching line you need to keep in mind I need to make hatching line for this area this circular part and this much section as I know this part is hollow part and this section is a rib so I need not to make hatching for this rib and this hollow part as well as this circular section Dimensions are very important for orthographic projections problem. So when you are giving dimensions strictly follow all the aligned way or unidirectional method for dimensioning. Don't forget to draw this center lines. Mention this sections as in the solution also and give properly dimensions for all the views. Okay, so last question is isometric views. So first I will find out overall the length, width and height for the problem. So here is the question front view and the top view. So for this front view you can see this is total length which you can see dimension is 130 whereas the height is 60 and this width is 60. So here we go with solution. As it is mentioned in this problem origin position O. So on the right side of O, I'll be having a length. So when I'm going to draw the solution for this, I will draw first one reference line and then I'll take uh, two lines with the angle 30 degree. Whereas I will locate this side as length. Because in the given question, position of O is mentioned. On the O right side, I'm having O right side I am having length. Now similarly as we can see here I am having this face circular structure in the front view. Just relate this you can see it is a circular slot for this object where you can relate with this corresponding top view. So first you draw this reference line. You need to construct this circular feature in isometric. I hope you know how to draw a circle in isometric view by four center method. There is one more slot which you can see in the top view with the dimensions as 20 mm and the length of this slot is 30 mm which you can see in the corresponding front view also which is located here this dimension as 30 and corresponding this dimension is 20. So one by one you can locate this object with this circular feature, this slot with this height of this plate which is equals to 
this 30 mm 